The malignant narcissist. What is the malignant narcissist and what are some of the signs? Superiority, excessive need for attention, zero empathy, unable to take any criticism, explosive anger, disregard for others' feelings or belongings, aggressive, impulsive, narcissistic, hostile, angry, malignant narcissist. The malignant narcissist will never take responsibility even when it is absurd to not take responsibility. They will make excuses that are the most absurd excuses you have ever heard and walk away like, believe me or not, I don't care. My name is Lise Colucci and I am here to help you understand and heal from narcissists in your life and to transform your life after toxic relationships. So you guys hit the thumbs up and subscribe to this channel if you want more videos like this one and let me know what it is you want to talk about as well. And let me know if you've been around a malignant narcissist in the comment section. Okay, let's keep going. So not only does the malignant narcissist take no accountability, they have no remorse, zero remorse, no regret. So the way that a malignant narcissist takes things personal might look a little different. It is in the form of superiority, so much superior and so much better than others that of course everything relates to them. Of course it's about them, right? And if it's about them in a negative way, they become explosive, lose their tempers, storm off, silent treatment, leave the room, throw things, whatever it is to get away from the situation because it's more than a basic narcissist where they don't take accountability and they're kind of like, yeah, I don't care. This is truly zero empathy where they absolutely not only don't care, but they will win. So when you are in a discard with a malignant narcissist, it can look a little bit like this, that you have lost value to them. They no longer see value in having you around them. And instead of this lingering, endless narcissistic thing where they throw you away and pull you back in, they may just toss you aside. They may be the ones to completely break contact with you because, see, they never cared to begin with. They only care about themselves. And if there's no value to them, they are not going to continue because they don't care what you think. They have hostile, hostile resentment and malignant narcissists will hold grudges for a lifetime. A malignant narcissist also shows signs of psychopathy. And I think that should be one of those acting warm-ups. A malignant narcissist also shows signs of psychopathy. Say it three times fast, very difficult. Anyway, here's one of those signs that I think is really important to watch out for. There's a calculating nature behind the way a malignant narcissist does things. It's a cold calculating manipulation of situations, often with a verbal attack coming with it, that shuts you down in a split second. You can see that they have had forethought when you think about it, or even you can see it while it's happening, that they are planning and plotting the way that they are going to do whatever manipulation or attack that they are doing. The malignant narcissist has a high level of entitlement. It is to an extreme. They are special, they are unique, they are better than everybody else. When a malignant narcissist is trying to achieve a goal or when they are t achieving a task, whatever it is, they have a Machiavellian goal pursuit. And what that means is they will do anything at all costs to win. It means that they will lie. They will, dis they will calculatingly attack and control. We'll use pathological lies to get whatever it is that they're trying to achieve or win. And they will adapt and manipulate to get there. With malignant narcissists, there is a shallow connection in relationship with others. There's not a deep connection emotionally because they don't have deep emotional connections. Okay, and then the last thing I'm gonna talk about here with malignant narcissists is their antisocial behavior. So they may not look like a full-blown antisocial person. In other words, they may have jobs, kind of friends or like friendships, acquaintances. I've seen malignant narcissists say in business groups where they have their business friends, right? And that there's, they're very put together and arrogant and, you know, on the surface, but people don't see it as malignant narcissism. They just see it as confidence. Okay. But within that group to obtain their level of achievement, to, to create the sense of hierarchy that they believe that they have, they will manipulate within that group of people. They will do things that abuse the social norms. 
say things that are critiquing, cutting, and criticizing that is not socially okay to do to other people and somehow get away with it. They have a snake-like charm sometimes that can move them through situations or there's a fear factor and people respect or fear the narcissistic person who is a malignant narcissist because they're afraid of getting on their bad side. They may not be criminal in the sense of overt criminal behavior, but there is always towing that line of what is lawful and what is criminal for them. They don't care. They don't believe that they are supposed to do as other people do. They are above the law. They are deceitful, impulsive. They are irritable, aggressive. They are reckless and reckless with other people's safety. So they may drink and drive. They have absolutely no remorse, no accountability, no empathy. And they will rationalize all of their manipulative actions. So if you've been around a malignant narcissist, I am hoping that you have support. If you need support, please check out the information in the description for coaching, group coaching, and peer support, because this is an incredibly toxic person. If you are divorcing one or have children with one, I feel for you and know that it may help to have someone to talk to or to have a support group or to have a means so that you are not alone in this because this is a very toxic person. This is a very manipulative person and this is a person that doesn't lose. Okay, so please take care and get the help you need and I will see you guys here next time. Bye-bye.